it's the opening weekend. It's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Dallas Cowboys. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Taylor. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Throwing on second down, Carr. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Here's Carr to throw. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. First and 10, Taylor now. Oh, here to run! And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Back to Taylor on first down. And past the 30, down to about the 27. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. On second down, it's Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Carr going to throw. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. 
And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. A part of why they came to this week with a winning record is that they feed off of mistakes like this. And now it's a prime opportunity. Just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they were already the underdog in this one. They just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Mixing up the middle. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Back to Mixon on second down. Gets past one man. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Joe Mixon, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. incompletions. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 40. A gain there of 21 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. No doubt about it, really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 63 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They give to Taylor out of the gun. 
And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. They'll run here with Taylor. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Second down and goal, Carr. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Debo Samuel, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught at the five. And he's in for two. The fake works. And they take the lead. Someone really wanted to be in the lead here because that's a heck of a gamble, isn't it? You're down one, you kick it. You got a tie ball game. Instead, they fake it. And I keep coming back to this every time I see it. Remember, if you're faking an extra point now, the ball stepped at the 15-yard line. Yeah, you're line. giving up 13 yards as opposed to just lining up at the two and saying you're going to go for two. You're running a big play, lots of yardage for one extra point. That's a heck of a gamble, but it paid off in this case. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. To throw is Prescott. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. D.J. Wadham got off his spot quickly and got to the quarterback. And punter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. A tight one. 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. The Bengals drive about to get going. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I've warned against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. And I don't think there's any words with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. run good for two here's second and eight to throw his car got a man over the middle and it's complete and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line first time they've hooked up here good for 17 and a first down the middle. Here's Taylor. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Yeah, things are pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run.
Second down, another run with Taylor. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his car on third down. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there. Forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. Nixon hit, and all the ball is out. And the Bengals have recovered it. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. They'll try the left side with Taylor down at the 25. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. run got a couple here second and eight they run once more with Taylor and he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 19 yard line 87 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon Try to run for the first with Taylor. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 39. Santos' kick is up and through, and the lead grows to four. It's 11 to seven. So the fumble recovery. He had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to try back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach B. 
be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Mixon with a first down carry, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Cowboys 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they've gotten a pretty good deal from the schedule makers as well. Home dates in weeks one and two. And I would believe that they would need to take advantage of that partner because as you can imagine, the road dates will pile up later this season. So this is a great opportunity for them to put some early distance on the rest of the division and create a little bit of a cushion for them for later in the year. That one good for 26 and a first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Cowboys are once again back in front. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Bengals drive about to get going. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we do that you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. yards remaining on second down on play action it's Carr he's got a man complete and he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line that one good for 26 and a first down and that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage so timing is everything this time you wait for his man to come open puts it right on and they pick up a first down. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Throwing now is Carr. And that is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. Now it's Carr. Got his target, Samuel. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. That third down conversion, good for 23. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On second down, a run with Patterson. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Third down, here's Patterson. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Santos' kick is up and through, and yeah, that will tie our score at 14. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense and with seven seconds remaining not much time to really do anything off the play fake Prescott he's gonna look deep for more and that's caught inside the 35 and he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half the prayer is answered how did they get that done so they just before half with a clock reading 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. How about snatching things right at the end and grabbing a little bit of control? What a great way to go into the locker room. It's similar to a boxer flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. A short kick taken at the 18, and he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. Now they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. 58 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Credit the sack to Von Miller. That's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. 
And here's Hoff Richter now to punter as he sends this one away. That's pulled in at the 32. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Watch out! Again, it's Taylor. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now Carr. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. On second and 11 now, Carr. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Divine Diablo. There he goes, right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So that a real wrench thrown in now for this offense. They're trying to make a game of this in the third quarter, but that is not going to help. Yeah, partner, probably should have used a different tool on that play, right? That ultimately is the kind of play where you can lose a ball game instead of being in a position to win. So they get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. drive about to get going now car to try again after the pick six and he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far Trent McDuffie with a pick and they are going to set up shop at the 40 yard line that is now seven seven interceptions between last week and this week three in this game four a week ago and I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Prescott to throw it. Able to find Warner, that's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, they were 
in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Joe Mixon taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. drive about to get going I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game Charles if they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback it has to start right here right now yeah now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast in addition they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions now a handoff Taylor with it taken down just shy of midfield five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five Brandon five yards on that run let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage and he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 27. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he'll be stopped just outside the five and the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five and the four. Well, I don't even have to stretch for this one. This is four down territory. They've got to get it in with the deficit that they're facing. Absolutely. It's not the fourth quarter, but still, you, I think you, you can't be thinking three here. No, if you do that, you might as well go ahead and fold up on this one. But I don't think they're going like that. I think here, the score dictates you pretty much got to go for it. But when you look at the score point and you realize that three doesn't do you a whole lot of good in this situation, you're exactly right. Dial up one of your better plays and get after it. Forget the field goal kicker. He doesn't matter. 93. 93. Car to throw for it on fourth down. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bengals are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position. That receiver than ever before, I 
think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. The kicking team out now for the Bengals as they'll send this one away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you feel like you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Four. Now they deal with a second and six. It's Mixon on the counter. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. Here's a give to Mixon. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. That second down play nets a minus four. Now, that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking up the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth-quarter stop? On first and ten, Prescott. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Parker, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and nine. That pass complete to Moore. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame him? And he's 
going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. From the gun, a give to Mixon. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. They get five on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. Here's Mixon. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Joe Mixon, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are on their way to a 2-0 start. Action point by Bass, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Second down and eight. Card out of throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Divine Diablo. And he's going to take this one back.